Okay. Mike here, Sky Include, included in the sky. <laughs> I think I'm just tossing it. Anyway, it's been like a marathon of making videos. We got the flamingohandshake.com tomorrow, less than 24 hours from when I'm recording this. Maybe I should be working on that. But this is super exciting. Uh, I hope to see you at the auctions. But Namebase has finally opened up their registry program so you can make money with your TLDs. Um, it's been, it's been a program that's been going since even before I knew, knew about Handshake, but it was more of application only in a case-by-case. -case. So literally like mid-April 2021, they just opened the floodgates. And uh, I'm planning to use one of our uh, sites here to submit, to do it in real time. Also go through the thought process, go through everything. I'm going to link to Mark Smith's uh, amazing breakdown of registry program he wrote a couple weeks ago as well. Uh, and I'll link to this in the show notes as, as always try to do. Um, and uh, reference other things, you know, there's so much to learn, but I'm going to try my best to make this like a comprehensive one-stop video for name-based registry program. Um, I think as I do it, we can talk about it and you can read all these links. I also have the Clay Collins video. We interviewed him uh, at the HandyCon, which is a definitely amazing one that's getting a lot of good feedback. So definitely check that one out too, which will also be linked. And his, his Spock Domains site, which is a great reference. Um, so I think without further ado, let me just do it. That's what makes this stuff interesting. So, you know, you go to... <laughs> A lot of us are always in this marketplace. So I'm really hoping is all these memes, these crazy people are making memes, which are cracking us up on Twitter and social media, can actually become like advertisements to register SLDs or domain names. So basically, Handshake is known as a is known as a is a TLD uh, blockchain. So it means you all these names are dot cancer free, dot black galleries, dot ENTP, uh, etc. John Legend, etc. So even emojis, you know, Chinese or any most, I think I won't say any language, but lots of languages. <clears throat> so people have been buying and flipping these. It's been almost a little bit annoying because it just keeps like SE in a Discord, people just flipping names. So now people can actually submit these to a registry so people can buy, um, and they actually call it stake. Um, stake, which is kind of cool because that's used in other, ter other terminology in, uh, in crypto. Staking your name. So I am planning to use uh, one of these here, coffees. So this is our account. So here's the thought process. How much do you want to uh, enter your sale price? So let's just say $5. You'll see these different um, payouts. So operating cost. So you would get 2.8 HNS. So you, there's a registry commission and there's operating cost. And then there's a yearly renewal. Let's say say five. So you will get um, two dollars eighty cents converted in. I think at that times HNS depending on the rate. So. I think this is probably too low. I don't suggest maybe doing that, but you can read this. You know, Mark Smith is known as a dot gin owner. He's always been talking about dot gin since I've known him, um, and he's been in the program. So he he you know you think about it um, as well. I'm just gonna do a test with this one. So you you know while it's five dollars, you would only get about half of that, and I believe that this five dollars might be this price might be marked up by the registry so so see name base holds 30 percent um and then registrars will mark it up from that and double it so he listed gin for 225 us and he's they're on sale for 450 and he receives 157 each okay so i think this price according if, if it's according to this i know we're all learning here i don't think this guarantees this will be what people can buy the domain for so here, let's go through the terms, and this is the agreement. You will not be able to freely register names. You can't use this for anything. You know, you can't like have a D-link or uh, other things. Uh, you can't change the price. They might be able to change it later. Uh, it will definitely be on gateway.io, which is here. I think this is part of uh, Namebase or their partner, something like this. But it might not be on Incirca. So Incirca, you can see .c is here. And notice their prices is this. Uh, they have different prices. 
for regular renewal transfer restore and you can see a lot of them in here 101 domain here they call it under blockchain domains and you can see this are the ones there's no guarantee you'll be added here i thought crypto is on ens or ethereum actually but okay so so does that does that make sense so here's dot gin see a 320 so they they that's where maybe you can learn from Spock.io. This is what uh, Clay Collins' is, business is for these domains. So maybe you should make a site either for all of your TLDs or maybe dedicated ones. Like in the in other videos I talked about, I've got Mastermind. So we made actually a dom site and people actually have been registering. And this is more like RSVP, get on a wait list. This doesn't mean you can, can do it, but uh, we built out this site already for it. People have filled out the form. So you could do like maybe a dedicated site for each TLD or you could have something like um, Clay Collins did with a site for each each of his that he's doing. And you can listen to all that in the, in the, in the interview here. Um, there we go. Although I don't see dot one anyway. Anyways, sorry. Bouncing around a little bit here. So, oops preparing for the event if it would go away <laughs> okay so so basically you can read so it'll definitely be on gateway.io the others might not be able to you can email them there's going to take one to two weeks to get it staked registrars can put whatever price they want see so they can double whatever you know they can't and don't contact the registrar. So don't go to Encirca or 101 Domains or Future Registrars and talk to them. Talk to Namebase if you're using Namebase's registry. That makes sense. Um, if you're a developer, you can actually create your own registrar, which would be awesome if we could see more registrars being made. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, don't don't contact the registrar, as I said. It might be banned. Uh, it's going to be a one-year minimum, okay? So that means you can't, so if I, if we stake dot coffees here, we can't take it out for a year. But even if it is, if somebody renews it, I think as long as there's one person registered, you can't get it back. Uh, and if it's a trademark name, we won't list it and it'll take uh, four to eight weeks to go back and then your 100 HNS staking fee. I don't know if it says it here. You're gonna have to pay 100 HNS um, to list and you'll be paid an HNS as credit to your name based account at least once a month. And uh, is this the same one that I put? Yeah, this is linking to the to the Mark Smith one, and you can read about this hundred HNS fee. It seems like it's charged once. The this is a PDF. You should probably read. So there's lots of stuff you can read about this. I'm sure they're getting tons of questions. So, so you can see it's a hundred HNS fee to stake. Okay, so this is the 100 HNS fee. It's not refundable. And, uh, you know, even if you do some, you know, trademark name, etc., it won't come back. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's submitted. It's super cheap. It's just a test. Um, I will keep you posted on how this goes. And it will go in your domain manager. I will keep you posted. I'm afraid to post this because uh, I think it goes. Let's see. There. So it's so it's going to show in for sale marketplace subdomain registry. So it'll show there and it'll list one or all that you have, which is exciting, right? Imagine you can start to see how many people have registered the domain and the earnings. So this will definitely, I hope it's not trademarked. I don't think Coffees with Ness is trademarked. And then it will get listed here and people could could register it. So I hope this is, uh, is helpful. I hope I covered everything. You know, I would just say maybe if you're really serious about this, making a, a dedicated site, making a logo, you know, making, you know, uh, that's what we did dot mastermind here for this one. Um, 
So I hope this was helpful. I'm excited really because now people can, instead of just you know going on Twitter and social media and groups trying to get people to buy their TLD, now people can try to get people to register their SLDs so you can get like Mike.coffees or let's get.coffees, something like that. And people can make memes and people share and people could monetize. And I think this is going to really help push the uh, push the bar up, push us as a community forward. And I hope there's more and more case studies. Of course, Clay Collins is doing amazing um, with his .c. And uh, I recommend you check out that interview. There's also a video on uh, on that post. He has a text interview with uh, Namebase to check out. Uh, I'm popping around a little bit here. I think I'm going to stop blabbing a little bit too much here. Um, but anyways, I just hope this does go. I feel like this is the next level, the next stage. We're graduating. TLD to SLD. People can use credit card. You know, you could you could buy. I, I bought some .Cs here. I'm already signed in. So maybe I'll show you that real quick. Okay, my account, so I got a few C's, uh, actually four, <laughs> uh, and then let's just, let's see what happens if I click here. So you can manage this, so you can turn on auto renew, I pay with a MasterCard, and uh, I redirect it to Michael.Michelini, so if you go to like Michael.C slash enter, this, I core built it out, but I just redirected it to Michael.Michelini. Site here, uh, but you could switch to name servers uh, and then DNS records, text, C name, A records. Um, then you can also transfer. Basically, it's like a normal domain, but it's a yearly renewal. See, and uh, this is now what people, when you submit your TLD, your domain extension to the domain base registry, it will be listed into the gateway.io unless it's uh, trademarked or some kind of business reason um, they say that they will be posted here you need to pay the 100 hns listing fee one time and then it'll be listed here um, i know there's a lot that could be done here i know some people said they, should, they would like to have like a dedicated landing page like slash island or you know mm -hmm. you know something that people could drive traffic directly to it and i'm sure now that it's open, I'm sure they're going to be continuing to develop this. Um, but basically, this is a handshake domain uh, registrar. And there's also hopefully a chance that you can get into Incirca and one one domains. There's also another video at HandyCon where we had Incirca sharing uh, Tom, the president. I'd recommend checking that out. He, you know, with, uh, with others there. Um, I'll try to remember to link it up. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> HandyCon.promote, you can check it out. This is where I go to find these videos. It's also in our, in our Sky Include YouTube, but... Whew. Here, Handshake in the traditional domain ecosystem once it loads. I'm over this computer here. I know some people tell me on YouTube I need to update Chrome. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can watch it here, and you'll see Tom from Circa, which is um, right here, how... They decide which one. They don't want you to just have a cool name. They want to actually market it. So maybe those Twitter memes and all that hard work a lot of us are doing in the community to share the word can be actually marketing materials to register domains at Incirca or 101 domain or Gateway. Here it's loading here. So you can check this one out. And uh, while this is loading, you can see here Brantley Ines, Jonathan amazing guy really helpful bridging i can this world uh, with handshake you know he's an amazing connector and uh thomas from circa and mike carson he actually is from impervious which helped uh partner and make help make this uh, gateway.io so that's definitely another video you should check out it's like a it's, it's a longer one i think like 45 minutes or so and a clay collins one and a neighbor news post and making your own sites um I guess to talk about, we've talked about dot .badass, you know, badass.domains. This is on Ethereum. This is a fork of ENS domains. This is um, different than 
this um, gateway I/O. Gateway I/O is not. You can't. At least I understand. It's not making NFTs. These are not going to be NFTs. These are normal domains, um, in a custodian format. Whereas that badass is on Ethereum and is ERC twenty. I hope I'm using the correct terminology. Um, it's basically a token that you could list. We're trying to get it onto OpenSea. So that's difference, okay? And it's a total, to not totally, but it's a different way. And I swear I saw a comparison here. I'm going a little bit longer, but I guess if you're, you got enough basics, I'm going a little bit deeper here. But it's something you got to think about. That's to the name base. Oh, uh, here's the post. So this is um, name base versus like a decentralized ETH, which would be dot badass. See, it's custodial. So basically your TLD, like the dot coffees, will be held by name base and you can't take it out. Um, and yeah, dot badass, I don't think that thing is like stuck in Ethereum world. I don't think that can ever come out. Um, but it is decentralized, meaning those owners own it of the domains. And yeah, there's a gas fee. So there's no gas fees here, and you can use a credit card. So I hope this is helpful. But yeah, and it's pretty expensive to create this. Um, we talked with that badass a few different times, so check that one out. Um, it's similar to ENS domains, kind of processing costs. Okay, I'm jumping around, getting into weeds. But uh, yeah, it keeps referring back to Mark Smith's one. So this is probably the most... Um, most important one. So I hope I hope this all helps. Thank you. You know, comments, feedback, death threats. Mm, don't really want, but uh, trolls don't really want. But I try to hear everything. This is, uh, I think, a turning point in the handshake ecosystem. I think this is kind of open up the floodgates. I know there's that 100 HNS, which is kind of getting up to be almost $100. You know, it's a bit less now, but it is you know, maybe they're going to slow you down from putting all your TLDs. Maybe that was on purpose. Um, but, you know, I do think you can make that back pretty fast, especially if you do a premium price and uh, good marketing. So it's up to you, really, on how you do this. And I, I hope we get more people monetizing their TLDs, focusing more on Handshake to grow you know, their life, their business, their uh, passive income. Thank you.